Those who get joined, you are aware for only 30 seconds. On the main sound and the good action.
circumstances like that here. I.e. ethnic conflicts, slavery, and kidnapping of the animals. Mm -hmm. So you should be cultivating the land with your husband and somebody attacked you. You really want to lose your husband, fighting the oppressor, he shackle you against your husband. Mm -hmm. And your daughter, your son, 12, 13 years mm -hmm. of age, crying, bam, shackled against you. So sometimes the whole family could be taken. The oppressor had a gun. You have to go and arrow. Can you find the person? You can't. As we stand here, just one warning shot from Madame. What did the rest of us say to you? So that was the power of God. One on one like this, ah, they even go on with you. One on one, we are beating them to it. If you are in doubt, ask the boxing ring. But they have God. So that is it, 150 to 200 here. You multiply that by five. We're talking of someone that grew to 1,000. Your Excellencies, please on your own line. So we move to the last end. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Look where you have a Fred. Oh, so this is one more. All of them are one. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, there we get lights. Then I'm off. Then I'm off. Thank you. Over here, we are in natural light, so we can't reach. <laughs> yes. One of our major, our main objectives over here is to conduct a United Nations tour and then unite people. In some cases where you made a request that oh, you want a separate show, the same language, you want this group, it could be language issue or any other term. And other than that, we try to diffuse the tension and, and tone down the emotion. Mm -hmm. The reason why often we do a group talk. Please, those at the back. More space here. Uh, I'll be asking you for questions, so I want you to come in. Mm. 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 All right, my dear wonderful people, first question. What is the difference between this surface and the first room you just visited? White. No, the emphasis is on the floor. Oh. So it looks like mud. Yeah. Gold. They were all rocky. Burn bricks. This mud like or uh, topsoil nature here mm -hmm. is a composition of poo poo, wee wee, throw up, tears, sweat, blood of water. Mm -hmm. The main floor is a brick. Wow. <laughs> now, where you stand here, I had your chair 180 degrees. You realize that that side is not so stupid. It's gone on that, right? Mm -hmm. So, similar thing recorded in the first room. I don't know how many of us would notice of the white markings at the yes. bottom of the That was the level of the weight. And that was recorded after the slavery was officially declared over. You know, when the train was still going, every day the local city that we used to control the castle, there were some who were in the sanitary department. They would have to clean the food. But they took the degree safety over. No human being kept there. There were no locals to clean the food. And you wouldn't expect officers out there to come and clean them. So those things were just like that was solid. To the level of the white marking and some of us. So we were almost half a century ago. Student body from the University of Ghana they were came there for academic research. And they said when they came, hey, they could see Ben Drake's floor at the fringes. 
different materials sewn together. So they were really to find out the disparity. Then they said that they did left by second. They were doing various circles from Raphael School, which was covered as of the time of the artist. And then scooped part of the debris to the lab for tests. And they find it, they said so it was food, weary, sweat, blood, tears of enslaved Africa. And because not everyone will believe in the findings. Again, I hope you saw a barricade portion yeah. over there. Wow. That was the remnants of part of the material that was left behind. So we have coded it. So that the next 30, 40 years, when your son daughter comes here, she will see it. It's a reason of progress. So currently, in the literature, we are all standing on food of our ancestors. And if you don't want to stand on it, it's a swing. <laughs> African traditional temple we have here. It forms part of our heritage, our culture, the way and manner when some of us will pray, we worship our maker before the Arabs introduce some of us to Islamic faith. Uh, you every year when you come to make a full of gold, what at all do you get them? So it attracted the Arabs to move to that area. Then they also began training with our ancestors. When they were doing so, they were teaching the Islamic faith. And you see, from Tunisia, Morocco to Spain, Portugal, mm -hmm. it's not far. Arabs, they had African markets at the same time, European markets. So what if you got rid of the Arab uh, time we will trade with you, we also go to the source of the gold. And then the silk, the Bird Island, Senegal, Gambia, on and on. Indeed, what you got to the Mina seventeen for two one. Salt being the stage for gold. Though they are all minerals, but you don't weigh them on the same stick. That was why they named the land gold. So whatever they were told, indeed, it, it came to pass. And they also introduced us. The Bible, Christianity. Mm. But that doesn't mean we should throw away entirely our heritage. We have to uphold some of them. So, elsewhere, we have lakes, rivers, lagoon trees. But this is a rock. The priest in charge, I think, is out this afternoon. So, we can't have the prayers said. But then, from this angle, that is, touch the hole over there for me, the top one. Yeah. From that point to the side, it's okay, thank you very much. Mark the beginning of a very huge underground tunnel, a passage behind us. When the men were here, no altar this way, no tunnel. Open space, slaves from England arrived, and slave Africans said they didn't go out with the boat. This was a direction. So you either move like this, like that. Depending on how you were chained, walk through the town to join the women at the door of no return. So it was around 1834, a year after slave trade officially ended in British West Africa. An officer in charge, Captain George Martin, ordered his men to police the town. This is why we can't see it here. And don't you worry. We'll get to the appropriate angle one after the other. I'll give all of you a chance to view. You can even take a picture. And then also we have some flowers for this represented by us, corporate bodies, individual, they are for us politicians, in memory of the departed souls, uh, as we celebrate Father Fest and our station festival. And you all pretend you don't return. You will see the whole lot. So this is what we have here. Any question before? Yeah, I don't see the meeting in that. No, no. That is my brother. Mm -hmm. Except. The lighting system, which, which unfortunately we don't have it now. And then the barricade, the painting, so on and forth. Everything is seen in the original. Okay. And then maybe the race, that's all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me add this. When the enslaved Africans were here, there was no shrine. And before the castle was constructed, there was a shrine. He's the leader of the 77 deities in the Cape Coast Metropolis. I made mention of Portuguese, Swedish, Danes, Dutch. When they were fighting over the space where we have the graves, there was no danger. The locals came washing their makeup. Until such a time, English had a lamp, 
constructed a dungeon and had already shown him their church. And they said they were Christians. They had nothing to do with anything. So traditional authorities relocated the temple, which they complied. It was after our independence that they reconstructed it. You know that when the shrine was here, there were still no. No. And again, I don't believe it was an open space. So shrine here, no slaves. Slaves here, no shrine. You get the chemistry. Yes. We go out to talk about the graves, then we see the tunnel from the top of the Careful, I can take on your phone light again, so you don't slip off. We're going straight to the graves. <coughs> It was an isolation. Uh, it's for, you, for YouTube, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Then come for look which part of riches come from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Yep. And then me in a castle. Looking around. Waiting for this day. Waiting for this day. It's funny though. I see some people here come to see where the, the wealth come from. To see where the inheritance was. Some people here come to look at where the inheritance comes from. They're here. But you know, it's a different time. Uh, Isolated one African. African by name Philip Quick, first Ghanaian African to become Reverend Minister in the Anglican Communion, ordained on the 17th of May 1765. Together with Thomas and William Trey, were given a scholarship by the merchant to study abroad so that when they come back, they can continue with the evangelism grind. The name of the church, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. Reverend Thomas Thompson conferred with a merchant that he, the sole pastor, may not be available all the time, so there was a need to treat him. They got there four years later, Thomas William Pazon and Philip survived, attended the school at Oxford, so after ordination, he came back to continue with the church. At a point in time, he said, hey, officers, this is difficult for me. For me to preach that he was holding my brother's right under the church. Uh, 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 you are ungrateful. What did you know in the Bible that we didn't know? That you were the one to tell us who from back. Mm -hmm. So confusion everywhere. <laughs> the next day transfer. The next day here. At the point in time, they stopped paying him in salary. He died here in 1875 with a salary arrears of 369 pounds sterling. So every 17th of October, the Anglicans in the community congregate in the state. And uh, congregate here to come and meet. And Methodist Church of Ghana, every first day of the year, January 1st, you can come free of charge if you are coming to worship. They also congregate here to commemorate the same Rose Downwall and his team who brought Methodism into the country. So the man by name C.B. Whitehead, shot dead when the English guards were fighting on our land. In the name of those human resources are slaves. That's it. And then we have Philip 
Let's go closer. <laughs> no, I don't want to see them white head one. I see the black one. You don't want to see the red one? Right? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to see. Those are the ones that fuck the place yeah, up. Yeah. I don't want to see them. Look, you see them sitting over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're rich. This is where the riches come from. Yeah. They know. They That's know. why they're, yeah, they know. Yeah, yeah. yeah they come to look. I need a swim here. Yeah. And I have to go that way. Have a swim. Huh? Yeah. And you see they come looking like. What's that? What's he saying? What is he saying? I don't know, I don't touch it. Oh, it's paper, Fred. It's there. What is done? Eh? Do you have money? Okay. If you want to throw in that paper. Because I don't know why you throw it here. Leave there, leave there. Huh? I will never take it. Let's go. Uh. I'm throwing no paper this See all these things. Yeah, that's that's the bullet for the for this one. So look, you see when you try to come and defend to, to get this, them yeah, from outside, blast they blast your ship and everything. Still here. Still here. Hold this one. Just hold it like this. I'm the thick one out. It's heavy, you know? You know? It's heavy, right? Look, them body it's heavy. Look, inside they put powder, gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. So when it book, it explodes. Boom! This one might be live. You never know. Dangerous, this one. Heavy. Feel. It's very... <laughs> heavy. It's heavy, bro. Mm. But these people, they are wicked. What's so. up? Very, very. You see, they sit there, they watch. Yes. Yeah. There's too much black people. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel comfortable. <laughs> tell you. They don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Especially they're not only seeing Africans. Now they're seeing English, Americans, Jamaican, yeah. whatever. They're, they're not, they're, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Very, very. Is that what? Hmm? What happened? Quickly, let's walk on the tunnel and then see it from the appropriate Have a look at the water.
So this one, the simple boat outside there and then the... The world of pirate or aliens. And that enabled the Indian failure. Look here. No, they come somewhere there. You see this here? That is something that yeah, was used. Yeah, that was a door. Like a door. Yeah, ah. yeah. Yeah. See the water is rough. Take some pictures here. Yes, one look. Oh, I got it. Over and over here, Amba. Therefore, became the initial door of no return. Exit. On the directional map of the castle, number 17. 18, the female land, the 19, second door of no return. So, out to Kenun, that moved them to the bigger ships and off to the various destinations. Later, they closed this area because of the behavior of the sea water. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, when the sea was very high and high tides, and transporting them, you know, it was manual at that time where you open. No capsize already in shackles. Right. Ah, so. so by the time the rescue team came to you, like, oh. <laughs> hey, don't be dying like that here. We needed you strong over there. The mortality rate was too high, so they quickly bam, close it off. And then the men came out this way, joined the women at the new door of no return. So let's see the female that you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they're returning now. Uh, mm -hmm. This was a punishment 